Peace, family. Black love and power. Hope everything is well as this message um, reaches you. Okay? Just want to uh, spread a little real message and really try to um, motivate, activate, and empower and just break some of the old um, energy, right? And old energy patterns, right? That still have a lot of influence over us that needs to be cut, okay? Old energy, stagnant energy, okay? Um, and arch typo energy, right? Things that needs to be cut off, let go, and addressed, okay? And one of the things that I want to mention and am going to speak on in this video, which I'm going to aim to keep very brief as possible, is you we always hear and have been told do not speak to yourself or you're not crazy as long as you don't answer yourself but see everything comes from the self you can't escape self everything comes from self everything comes from the self and we, okay, and so the biggest influence and factor that we have upon our lives is words. Words carry a vibration. Vibration carries information. But each word basically is a program. It's programming. Okay? So, the realest and best conversations that we should have is truly supposed to be with ourselves. The best and realest conversations and the most intimate conversations that one ever is supposed to have is supposed to be with themselves. Why is this? Yes, you should talk to yourself. You should have time where you just talk to yourself. And times when you talk to yourself, where you also should have intermittent moments of where you listen to yourself. Okay? Because you are a universe. And everything that you need, right? All of the answers that you need, all of the light that you need, right? It's found inside of you. It's in us, right? But you have to go within to retrieve and to get it. The same principle of information being uh, dormant, right? Sleeping, right? And latent in us that's encoded in our DNA that needs to be spoken to and activated, right? Which you can activate a lot of this dormant information that's latent and hit in the DNA through speaking to yourself. Through having a certain awareness of it and speaking to yourself, reflecting, posing questions, acting questions, right? And certain things, you activate certain things that's inside of you waiting for it to be spoken to and receive a certain vibration from your conversation. But this is what I'm saying. As human beings and as living organisms, right? As organic beings. We are comprised of 70% water. The same composition as the earth. 70% water. The brain is approximately 90% water. Right? And so we know, right? Or it has been proven through various different studies, right? Such as the works of Imasaru uh, or Masaru Emoto, right? And there's other different studies from people that have done stuff based on water. And you could take water and you could program it by putting by projecting your thought and intention into it and holding it in your hand. Just by saying thank you. Right? You change the molecular structure of the water and the cells of the water, right? And the cells of the water carries your thought. 
Okay? It carries a thought. You program the water. Now, let's apply that to our beings. We are water. We ain't nothing but water ourselves. So imagine you having a real conversation with yourself, speaking to yourself. The same effect, right? The same effect. The same thing that transpires with you programming a glass of water by speaking your attention into it. You do the same. It's the same thing going to transpire with you speaking to yourself and speaking to your body, speaking within your soul and communicating with your soul and your being. You programming it. Our body is a crystal. Our body is the biggest crystal in the human or in our body, our organism, right? Our organic being. Is a crystal and it's programmable. It's composed of various different um, vortexes, various different um, lattices, right? We the same way. We the exact same thing. If you take a, a clear prism, you hold it up to a light, it splits it into the full spectrum of the sun, right? In our bodies. It's composed of the same seven colors that you take the prism and it splits it into the full spectrum of the sun. Our body is composed of these same seven colors. These same seven colors is that which uh, comprises and makes up the rainbow, but they run through our being. See, so we are crystal too, right? And crystals, right, are programmable and they contain and hold information. So when you have a conversation with yourself, you are speaking you are programming yourself. You're real, you, you are rearranging your molecular structure. The, you are clocking and infusing your cells with the thoughts. Okay? And this is how you literally take on and become whatever it is you're imagining and envision and you want to be in the power. And the power of this is very transformational. You programming yourself from the inside out. You clocking the thoughts into your cells, right? Now imagine you. Now imagine you do this, and you continuously stay zeroed in with a laser like focus on this. After you do this, okay? You don't program yourself. Talk to yourself. You don't program yourself. Now you living and moving deliberately with intention and focus on what it is that you've done, right? The results and the power and the capability is exponential. Talking to yourself. Talk to yourself. Program yourself. They tell you don't talk to yourself. But if you go to talking to yourself, right, and you programming yourself, then guess what? You're free from the program that they don't ever, ever want you to break away from because they're trying to put programming on you. So now they don't want you talking to yourself because you undoing the program, you're unlearning the program, you're unraveling the program, you're disintegrating the program. So no man, no sister, they do not want you talking to yourself because you program yourself. And when you begin to program yourself and your body begins to respond in accordingly to the program, right? You come out of another program and you become a free man that's true in your power and you live in accordance to the spirit and revolve it around your intuition your into and, and our intuition is the axis of man the the universe and the earth has an axis the axis is an invisible line right or an imaginary line that the universe spins upon right so as we get away from this axis the further further away from the axis then guess what you're gonna run into a wall Things is going to change on the planet. Just that one tilt, one tilt of the earth on the poles or its axis, it alters and it offsets everything and affects the living organism of the earth. And it's the same way with us. As above, so below. As within, so without. Think about it. Contemplate over these words. I'm looking for a good read with more further information. You want to pick up my book, The Book of Self. A thesis on energy and how it interrelates. I'm looking for a copy of the book around here. I don't see one, but the book itself, the thesis of energy and how it interrelates. Get the book. Great read. Written by me, your brother, Floyd Williams. It's on Amazon.com and it's on Lulu.com. Think for yourself. 
do for yourself. Follow your intuition. Forget everything that you have heard. Sometimes the most important and critical aspect of learning is not the receiving of information, but is unlearning. Sometimes it's more important to unlearn things than learn a thing. Okay? So with that, I'm out of here. Black power, black love, all that exists is energy. All that exists is energy. And the number one thing that you must protect and you learn to utilize is your energy within yourself. But you have to cultivate it, you have to harness it, and you have to go inside of yourself. Okay? And the biggest powers and influences that man have, the biggest power that we have, the biggest power and the biggest influences on our life is belief and intention. Belief and intention. 